What is up, everybody? Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming, bringing you that unboxing. Now, I did it last night, technically, but I kind of didn't like the angle of it because I tried to have it sitting down, and then as I was doing it, I noticed that a lot of the times my hands were coming out of the front, out of the frame of the video. So I was like, yeah, I need to do that again. That was that was pretty bad. But so <clears throat> this is the PSA dagger. I got the full size. Um, it was kind of funny when I was reading uh, the little sticker that came with it. Uh, it was kind of funny because the sites that they uh, that they call it on there is XL sites. It was kind of funny. They literally call it two XL sites, which just meaning they're suppressor height sites, so you can have a better co-witness with red dots and all that while also having a suppressor on your uh, system, right? So much like any other, uh, you know, Palmetto buy, you get the sticker. But with the dagger, you actually get your own little PSA dagger sticker. That will be going on my sticker wall that I got. Now, um, I did get a mag while I was at my FFL dealer. But this is, in general, how it comes, right? So, it comes with mag in there. Here's the gun. Here's the little stopper comes with your traditional lock and everything else <clears throat> something cool about the case is you can actually because the whole inside of it is velcro so you can take everything out like, like here's the here's like the mag holder you can take everything out and then situate it and put it any way you want so that's that, it's pretty cool kind of like that now uh this is the psa dagger s Right, with the SW1 uh, cuts in the slide and armor with the suppressor height sights and threaded barrel. So it's pretty nice and it comes in sniper green. This used to be called bazooka green and all that, but they kind of changed it, I guess. It's sniper green now, but whatever. So to show you, first and foremost, it's empty, there's nothing in there. Nothing in the mags, because, uh, so this is the mag it comes with, the P-Mag, right? Here's the slide release, not bad. Slide release is pretty good. Mag release, not bad. And then here's the Glock mag. So, they say that the P-Mags don't run very well, and I'm going to definitely test that out. And they talk about wiggleness, but so this is an actual Glock mag. So like it still has that wiggleness that they talk about, right? So Glock mag, P mag. So there's still the wiggleness in there. So this gun, right? I got for three hundred nine dollars. Honestly, not bad, especially when it comes with the threaded barrel, suppressor height sights, mounting plate. Now. It comes with this plate not on there, so I just put this on there until I actually get a red dot to put on here and then could take it off. The hinge trigger, which honestly is pretty nice, because it reminds me of how the hinge triggers on my FN are, and honestly this feels a lot smoother. That one was pretty gritty. This one, not so bad. Like, not at all. And the creep for it when you go to check for the wall like right there not that bad and then the full pullback not that bad and pulling back the slide feels extremely extremely easy like it's pretty smooth i didn't add no oil to this they put just a little bit in there right so not bad at all does come with Mounting plate somewhat on the bottom, you know, one little hinge right here so that you can put, you know, your lights and all that on there so you can still have that. The grip texturing on this feels pretty, pretty good. Um, it definitely somewhat reminds me of how my uh, SIG M17 is with the way the grip is. And I that's one of my favorite grips on a gun. It really is. It's one of my favorites. Now, with this one, it feels about the same. I kind of, I really like this one because gripping it, holding it, and then finding the co-witness, because a lot of people, one of the issues that they have with this gun, right, is the fact that the front end sight here, right, there's like 
no white, there's no nothing, none of that kind of thing, right? Well, none of that really matters because you can actually find it pretty easily even with like a, a, like a black backdrop as long as you have the focus like on other surroundings around. But also, you can get something like this, a paint pen or, I don't know, nail polish and you can whiten out that front sight post if you want. Cheap, easy, you don't have to sit there and go get a new sight post, none of that. Because, in all honesty, as long as you see it, it doesn't matter, right? Now, I will be getting a red dot for it. Can't wait. Very curious on uh, how that's going to go. Because mounting it seems really easy. Now, the takedown of this, right, of this gun is a lot like how any other Glock and or Taurus is. I've, won't, I've never had a Glock before. This is technically my very first Glock clone. And I'm very happy because I never really liked how the Glock hand uh, guard was and all that. I didn't like it. The way it felt in my hand, I didn't really like it all that much. But this one feels really nice. The texturing on everything, like I said, really good. The mag release, like I can see like if you don't have strong thumbs, Oops, there goes Mac. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't have strong thumbs, I can see how like that would be somewhat of an issue to push. But I mean, it's not that bad. And I mean, the mags come right on out, so that's all that really matters. And then when it comes to slide lock, it has slide lock for uh, both this one, which is the P mag, right? And then here's the Glock mag. So I mean, that's nice. Definitely want to take that to the range, put both of the same types of ammo in these to see like if there's an issue with this one specific one. Like some people said they have had issues, some people said they haven't, so it might just come down to like the model and or maybe you just got unlucky. But now how you do the takedown for this, right, is you have this little switch here on both sides, right? So what you do is you take it down. You pull the trigger and then pull it off. See that? Then, bam, it's off. And then, you know, you have your steel guide uh, guide rod. This is steel. That This is a mixture of polymer and some steel. So that's pretty nice. Way better than, you know, completely in total plastic and all that. Now, putting it together... I noticed you have to be very quite on because if not, if you miss it just by a little bit, it's going to be a little butthole. <laughs> so always keep that in mind. And then once you put it all back together like this, boom. boom. So not that bad, not that hard. Pretty easy. And in all honesty, it feels really comfortable in my hand too. Like it really does. Finding that front sight post, not hard. Like, I'm literally aiming it at my, like, uh, black movie case, and I can still see the front side post pretty good. Now, it is illuminated in my room down here in my basement, but, you know, hey, not bad. Now, for the price point of this, this is not that bad. Like, the way it feels, like, how easy that slide goes back. Like it. And then, uh, something I noticed about this because uh, some people aren't too sure about these front cuts to like the whole purpose other than maybe making it slightly lighter, which it kind of does. Um, I think, one, it kind of helps with uh, removing a lot of the gases as well other than just making it slightly lighter. Because if you look close enough, right, you can see on the inside. That's the end where the bullet goes. This is the inside of the barrel, right? So I'm pretty sure... It's going to help with a lot of, like, gas removal as well, which, in turn, should help with recoil. So, this right here, in my opinion, if you're going to be someone new to guns, you don't want to spend too much money on something, but something that's going to, like, be like, oh, hey, if you get lucky and you like it, or you like guns, this is an entry-level gun that you can then start modifying without having to start spending five, six, seven, eight hundred plus dollars. Because this one, with what it comes with here, these, this, that normally is a five hundred plus dollar gun. This was three hundred nine dollars with free shipping and handling because I got it during the Christmas sale. 
Now, with that all in mind, this is really good for the price point. I'm definitely going to take it out shooting and see how well it all works. I have seen people who have had issues with it, but still, I kind of want to put a compensator on here. I have one. Um, it was on my FN at one point in time, but I might get and see how well that fits on there. And if it looks kind of weird, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, like it so far. Definitely can't wait to go shooting, see how it feels, and everything else. Even my girlfriend liked the way it felt in her hand and everything else. And once again, I gotta like really reiterate this trigger. I mean, it's not that bad of a trigger. Like, it's really not. So, I'll compare it with my FN that I have over here, right? So, I love my FN. This is a good gun. Safe and clear. Okay. So, here's the FN trigger. It's much like this trigger, right? Now, when I first got this one, I kind of noticed that the back hinge section, this part right here, which is the safety feature, right, was pretty gritty and was catching the back end of the trigger guard right here, right? Now, it doesn't do that anymore, thankfully, but I did shoot it quite a bit. So, I mean, that did help. Now, this was a brand, brand new gun when I bought it, and we've had some good time shooting. Can't wait to go shooting again. Because here in Alaska, it's cold, so, like, unless you're willing to drive on super icy roads, just go shooting for, like, maybe a couple hours, maybe an hour, Really not worth it unless you have land. Can't wait to go, though. It's going to be awesome. But, yeah. It's a lot like this trigger. But, out of the box, it feels a lot smoother than this one did. And this one was an $800 plus gun. And it comes with roughly the same stuff, if you see it. So, you have your suppressor height sights right here. Now, this one comes with a guard so that, you know, it's protected a little bit better. You have your threaded barrel. And, you know... Your bottom rail. So, a lot like how that goes. And at the same time, you can remove this plate here and put, uh, you know, your RMR, red dots, all that. And with this FN, it did come with multiple different mounting plates, which also added to why it was such a high price point. But still, good gun, especially for the money. It's just um, be very careful when it comes to the firing pin, because uh, the firing pin is easily broken. At least that was an issue at one point. Not too sure if it still is. But, good gun for the price point. That one, and they're both 9 mils. that one's a lot heavier than this one is. A lot heavier. And I'm not even talking about just the overall weight of the gun, but at the same time, the spring in that one, like, if you're not used to it, you can't do like how you do with this one. Like, this one's pretty easy compared to that one. But, yeah. So, this is the unboxing. This is the PSA dagger. And this is the full size, and I like it. It's pretty nice. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Stay free, America. Love you guys.